My name's Nita. I'm going to put a below knee plaster on your leg. Okay. All right. For yes. a Weber B fracture, apparently, yes. which you've hurt your ankle there. First off, I'm going to measure your foot without stocking it. I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. I'm just going to do gentle movements. To do a below leg, leg, below leg plaster, you just need three simple things. Three rolls of the 15 centimetre, one roll of the 15 centimetre soft band and the stocking there. It's all good. I'm going to lift your leg for me and put a bolster underneath your knee. So if you can lift your leg for me. And that gives us good height, good position. All I'm going to do is push your foot back that way to 90 degrees because it'll make it easy for your rehab when you come out to have it at 90 degrees. If we leave it like this and you come out of the plaster, it's too hard to put your foot back mm -hmm. to 90 degrees. So that's why we put it at 90 degrees. If you did your Achilles, then it would be relaxed and every two weeks it would go back. But because you've got a Weber B fracture, which is a normal standard fracture, you're just gonna do this. And don't stress, it won't go that far. Mm -hmm. And it will have your toes uncovered. So we get the soft band, make sure there's no wrinkles, no crinkles, nothing in it. Soft band goes to the low, below the little toe and it's one third to cover. Do your ankle, do your heel, feather it a bit because you don't want wrinkles, one third up. You measure for the bone that's here, what it's called, but you measure it's two fingers down from there which then allows for you to bend your knee and you don't get any soreness. That's quite nice. Nice and firm. Nice and good. When you do plaster of Paris, if you're not confident enough to do it, use cold water. If you're confident, use warm water. You've got about 10 minutes of play time with the gypsonia if you use cold water. If you use hot water, you've got less, half the time. So I use cold water, and you start off at the toe end, and you use the first roll, is just at the break side. So you start at the bottom, just covering the soft band, and it's an up and drop motion. You never pull it, just up and drop. First roll is always at the break side, so you concentrate around the foot, the heel, and the ankle. Never go above the soft band because then it'll be too hard, you can't see your toe. So you just caress the plaster, moulding it towards the skin. And it is your friend. I love plaster. we are going positioning in a moment, but the second roll goes from the brake side to the top. And when I start that, I'm going to Put your ankle into a 90 degree stint. And the easiest way to do that is to use your shoulder. Because you can still do it, just relax, you bend your knee, and your foot will, auto if you bend your knee, it will automatically go up to 90 degrees. Bend, relax, re no, just relax. Just relax, 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 relax. Hopefully, that's at 90 degrees. Then you do the join. And again, never ever pull it, just up and drop. And caress. And that moulds it towards the skin, gives you a firmer contact and less air between that and your skin. Hold that down. Plus, I saw won't like that, but that's okay. Just relax your foot, relax, 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 relax. Slowly pushing it back, not hurting. Hopefully, if you can keep it in that position. Nice. You fold that back. Now you should have pink on your nails up. <laughs> this is a bit long, so we can cut it off. Because the plaster saw doesn't like this. And this is a non-elastic stocking that we use underneath. Never, ever, 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 rule number one, use a compressed bandage or a um, tube grip underneath your plaster. 
because that causes more complications than we want. Oh, goodness, some good, good equipment here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the best. But anyways, we just cut it back because the saw doesn't like it. And the third roll, because you started at the toe and you've worked your way up, the third roll starts from here back, which gives you the crossover firmness that we require. Again, you just wait for the bubbles to come out of the water. Gentle squeeze. Always hold the end. Because if you put it in the, in the water and you haven't got the end, you lose it and you can't find it. So we start off this end. Again, you can use your shoulder. Push it on. Again, it's just up and drop. Around. Make it look nice. And again, you just caress it. Never up and down, always in a circular motion. There you have it. For the purpose of the demonstration. Should come a little bit further up the your big toe. But, there you go, you're done. Clean up your mess. If your toes turn purple, blue, numbness, any tingling, any pain sensation, straight back to emergency, get it cut off. Otherwise, you could go. Give it 10 minutes to get set, and you're off. The plaster saw that we used to take off the plaster, it's a vibrating saw, it doesn't rotate. It has an um, encapsulated um, vacuum system as well to get away the dust, but there are three simple rules with the plaster saw. Don't push it up and down like that, and don't ever, ever just leave it on the skin. It will get hot. It causes friction. It rot vibrates like a. Um, mm -hmm. It vibrates. It doesn't rotate like a normal saw. I don't even know where my head is at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. That's the vacuum sucking up the dust. We're two speeds fast. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. 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 Turn with a normal dip zone of plaster, you just cut down the middle. Because this one's a little bit still a bit wet, it might be a bit hard. But in, in reality, you hold the plaster with one hand, you hold the saw with the other, and you guide it with your thumb. You can score it without any pressure. And then it's a simple up and down. You can feel it when it goes through, so you know that you're through, and it changes pitch. Pretty good. <laughs> it's magic. It is magic. If you had a Gipsona cast, you would cut it on each side. Well, not Gipsona, a fiberglass cast, you'd cut it on each side on, to open it up into two sections because uh, fiberglass doesn't give. Gipsona will give a bit more, you've got more um, leeway to do this. So just cut the ends and the top and the bottom. The beautiful Ginsu stage up noise. And your equipment's important that you've got good scissors and mm. your spreaders and And it just spreads like that. It's such a good thing. Mm. And then you cut your finger off for stocking it. Because you've only had the best equipment here for Northern. And you get the post and lift it leg out. Relax down. Making sure that there's no pressure area, there's no sores, there's no um, blisters because sometimes the hot plaster will cause a blister mm -hmm. and when you take the plaster off you'll see that it's been there for about four weeks and it's all red and yucky and horrible but that's just because of the heat of the plaster mm -hmm. that causes it. There's your uh, well done one. <laughs> Simple.